Welcome back to another episode in the Tennessee Titans franchise. We are now in week 15 of our third season. I'm trying out a new headset, so if you do make out any differences in sound, please let me know pretty quickly <laughs> down below. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to be playing the Buffalo Bills away, so that is going to be tricky. Uh, we seem to be pretty much on par with each other. On the other hand, I do have to say that Josh Allen, of course, being the cover athlete, is going to be... <laughs> Pretty much of a challenge right there uh, apart from that we're gonna be taking a look at the player picture straight away no questions asked we're still in the next round so we're still skipping the wildcard round i'd really like to keep it that way uh the main takeaway here of course has to be that uh, the the team needs one more week of rest before we head into the stressful three weeks uh if we want to kind of run it back it is looking pretty good this season. Uh, we're currently 11 and 1. Um, no, 12 and 1, sorry. Um, we're topping the AFC South. And we're also still topping the NFL overall, which is pretty cool. We're tied with the Falcons here. Um, but we seem to be qualified already, so that is pretty cool. Um, apart from that, again, not much to do this week. We are going to be taking a look at uh, the Buffalo Bills roster right now. Starting the analysis, of course, with Josh Allen at the quarterback number one spot here. Uh, yeah, X-Factor, 29 years old, 99 overall, bazooka arm, second best QB in the league. Don't think I have to say too much about this player, though. Uh, he is really, really good. All right, just get a little heave without that. <laughs> uh, we, we've got Mitchell Stanley here, 21 and 70. He does have... A hidden dev trade which is why he got a quick makeover so there we go nice throw power 99 by the way Carson Wentz as the backup QB running back James Cook Caleb D behind him and Roman Hemby so the run game will be balanced but nothing out of this world fullback is Paul Holloway that's a rookie uh, the wide receivers consist of Stefan Diggs with an X factor Xavier Worthy with a superstar dev trade we've got Darius Slayton here 2-2 two out will formerly with a Rams and Khalil Shakir this is a fantastic wide receiver room the ages are really well balanced I have to say we've got a very very experienced very very good Stefan Diggs here with an X factor we've got Xavier Worthy here 22 years old only so really really good Pairing that with a fantastic QB, really going to make life difficult for us. On the tight end position, we've got Dalton Kincaid, 25 and 88. Del Noel behind him as the second tight end. And the third one is Quinton Morris, Dalton Kincaid at a Utah College at a 2023 draft. Looking pretty good here. The offensive line, we've got Andre Dillard here. We did trade him here, uh, so no surprise actually. Uh, he is returning maybe to haunt us, maybe not. Um, I don't really feel too bad. We traded Patrick Paul here. Um, and uh, yeah, never really felt too bad about that. Jackson Carmen is the backup here. So what they're getting is they're just getting an experienced left tackle. Makes sense uh, from a perspective from the Bills. We are still more of a, you know, it, even if we won the Super Bowl, we're still developmental. So there we go. Uh, left guard is Connor McGovern, 27 and 78. Chris Moore, the rookie, as a backup here. Same goes for Nick Broker. Um, at center, Ben Bredesen, or Bredesen, 27-69, and Nick Harris, 26-68. Horrible situation here. Strength is okay-ish for Ben Bredesen, but other than that, this is certainly a position that I would improve immediately. Uh, we've got Cyrus Torrance on the right guard spot, 25-86. Ryan Bates as a backup. Super solid situation here. Cyrus Torrance with an, uh, not with an X-Factor, but with a start of trait. Uh, but looking very solid i just wanted to see if they did his crazy hair on the model as well i personally you could see them slapping over one of these players onto the center position right tackle that's spencer brown 2776 and daryl stanton 23 and 72. a solid offensive line uh solidified with andre dillard even more on that outer position um the offense uh the 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 center position is not great apart from that not looking bad Defense is certainly where the stardom comes from. Greg Rousseau with a superstar day of trade behind him, Kingsley Jonathan. But Greg Rousseau is such a good, good edge rusher. I used him on the Dolphins. I traded for him very quickly. Uh, he's the best now here in Madden 24 currently on this position. But really, 
really fantastic player. Never looked back. Right edge is Brandon Dorius, 24-79. Behind him, Bryce Grimes and Brandon Dorius, of course, did get a makeover, even if he was a normal dev trade. But he's a starter, so that just makes sense. Um, he's the dude with the two red sleeves. D-tackle, Ed Oliver, also brutal player, 27-87. Derek Natty injured, and McKinley Jackson as the backup D-tackle. Left outside linebacker is Terrell Bernard, 26 and 75. A solid player, nothing special, but just solid. Chris Braswell is a backup here. Uh, middle linebacker Dorian Williams, 24 78. I like this actually. Uh, backup player breaking through the ranks. Bale Inspector, 26 and 72. And Alfonso Ward, a uh, rookie, joining this room here. Solid, again, nothing crazy. Matt Milano, of course, on the right outside linebacker position. He is going to make life way more difficult for us with a start of trait. He is really nasty to play against. Um, he's going to be breaking through that side and really putting pressure on us. Curtis Weaver is also here. Um, we've got the cornerbacks. Tredavious White, the superstar, of course, 30 years old, 94. Kair Elam, 2489. You could just see, looking at Will Johnson, that's a rookie here, 22 and 87. Start of trait. Also got a makeover here. But looking at these players, they just really have a very good corner room. We're going to have to really be very cautious of where we throw the ball. Cordell Flott, Christian Benford, and Carlos Presley are the three uh, cornerback backups, I would say. Um, and even looking at those, there's not too much of a gap between those ratings. Of course, Davis White is way away. Um, but between these here, there's a nice step. And now, uh, and between here, these here as well. Free safety is Rod Moore, 22 and 83. Micah Hyde is the backup. Uh, we did do Rod Moore uh, already uh, when we last played him. And as I expected, he has overtaken Micah Hyde because he has just continued to grow. And uh, he is also way, way younger. So that's just a clever thing to do. Jaron Kiersey here, 3182. Behind him, Jordan Battle, who will overtake him in no time. I'm sure of that one out of the 2023 draft. Kicker Tyler Bass. Punter is Blake Gillikim. So what do we do to stop the Bills? How do we handle this away game? Um, I do hope that the players have rested up and that we're not too tired here. Um, we're going to be defending the short pass. That just has worked best. Uh, fatigue levels are at 100%, at 100%, so that is positive. Left edge, these starters. Right edge, these starters, because Adisa Isaac is going to start. Jeffrey Simmons still injured. Uh, D-tackle, I think we could go with a split here. Left outside linebacker. Uh, we're going to... Uh, well, I don't actually know. We're going to split this. I don't want to aggravate the injury for Glenn Sprinkle even more, but Shaquille Brett will be starting here. Mid linebackers. Let's focus on the starters, right outside linebacker, backups of course, cornerbacks, splits, uh, Derek Knox is out with an injury, so that is bad, but uh, going to be going with uh, Terrell Bouges and splits, and uh, Sonny Styles is starter. Let me just do the same thing for the left outside linebacker, oh, we're splitting anyways. All right, that makes sense. Next up, offensive game plan. I feel like we're going to have a lot of pressure coming at us. Um, but I will try to fight fire with fire. So we're going to be going at it and facing them head on. Quarterback, uh, we're going to do starter training. I think that makes sense. Uh, we're going to go with splits on the running backs. Uh, we're going to go with splits on the wide receivers. And we're going to go with splits on the tight ends. Now right, let's go with starters and get Noah Clancy some more reps. Um, everybody was very tired last time around. So we're going to be training splits uh, for the left tackle position, um, I want my starter to be fit. Um, we're going to be going with splits here. We're going to be going with splits here. And we're going to be going with splits here just to be on the safe side. I don't want to aggravate any injuries, cause new injuries. Um, Derek Knox is not injured. All right, we're going to have to fix the depth chart then. Uh, Dylan McMahon. Uh, Glenn Sprinkle is out injured. That, of course, is the reason why we have um, why we have uh, him not on the focus players. I should focus on what I'm saying and not be distracted by looking at the window. That is strange otherwise for you. <laughs> I'm not continuing to speak. No words coming out of my mouth. Let's start training. Here we go. Let's take a look at uh, the injuries this week we still have jeffrey simmons out we still have chico conquo out we still have green park now those really hurt me glenn sprinkle very sad about this to be honest patrick paul out 
for one week with a dislocated wrist. So uh, our offensive line is really getting thinner and thinner as we speak. Um, before I do anything else, I'm just going to be taking a look at the depth chart because I feel like that is getting completely bum rushed at the moment. Um, let's take a look here. All right. This works for me. Uh, all right. All right. All right. We're going to be fixing a lot of things in game anyways. So that is not too bad. So James Houston is here. Adisa Isaac is here. This is exactly as I want it, uh, as I want it to be. But here, where is, all right, so Glenn Sprinkle is injured, all right, but, so that's a big but, how right, Landry here, I tell you what, I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be putting Zach Harrison on the starting position here for the time being, um, who was out, well, I think it was the free safety position, that is the one I wanted to fix here. Derek Knox. I want him to start. I want him to be revealed <laughs> this season. That should certainly be something that we try to achieve here. Uh, time to upgrade our players. Here we go. Do we have many upgrades? Nah, just one. All right. This is going to be quick. Tai Chi Spears. Boom. Player upgrades are handled right now. <laughs> Next up, let's take a quick look at uh, the staff moves. Uh, not staff moves, but staff upgrades. Um, I think I will be putting some into the offensive line again. Uh, we just need uh, as much security there as we can get. Run block finesse, run block finesse, pass block finesse, strength. Let's, uh, I can't do that. Hmm. All right, let's add it here. Um, run block finesse, that could help for the tackles. Uh, we can always use that, right? All right, everything's handled. We're going to be heading into the game against the Bills straight away. Here we go, Highmark Stadium, home of the Buffalo Bills. We're going to get a player showcase, Josh Allen, 3,190 freaking yards, man. 24 touchdowns, only 4 interceptions. Will Levis, again, he has been doing way, way better than I would have given him uh, credit. That was scary. It's going to be a cold game because everybody's breathing and you can see the breath. But it was scary when that happened in the close uh starting animation room right there uh, seemed like there were ghosts in the room man but okay uh the tennessee titans lining up in the away uniforms will levis here getting everybody ready i don't know why noah clancy sitting down with the defense but there we go uh, here is uh josh allen doing his starting dance i don't know what that was exactly we're gonna be receiving Kick, getting prepared here. Tyler Bass, getting ready to kick it off. And there we go. Game is underway. We are getting the ball first. And we're really going to have to give it our best shot here. Play focused football. Have to make sure that we don't get into any problems quick. Dig deep is the game day factor. Uh, we're facing Greg Rousseau and Davis White on that left hand side. And we're immediately going to start running it here. How far do we get? Three yards. Ty J Spears on his first run of the day. Last week, only 51 yards, but a touchdown. It did work out quite well. And we picked up a win, but it was a rough game against a tough team. Uh, the uh, 49ers, always hard to beat. Wells Jr. is actually a little bit tired. So let's see what Will Levis can pull off here. And uh, Amari Rogers stopped third and inches. Is going to be the ruling on the field. Mario Rogers is such a great um, wide receiver. Really digging that. We could try and exploit their setup here, but I'm just going to be focusing on getting that quick uh, first down here as we're stopped. The linebacking group and the secondary is really exceptional. The uh, deep tackles are solid as well. Uh, that's uh, Ed Oliver, of course. And we're facing Greg Rousseau. So a very um, balanced defense, I would say, as Ed Oliver picks up an injury very early in the game. This is something that I'm never, never going to like seeing, but of course it's going to help us a little bit. Logan Thomas, Amari Rogers, Noah Clancy. Oof. 
The quick hit by number 31. That's Micah Hyde. Notable inactives. There we go. Four starters for your viewing pleasure on the screen. A wheel post track, third and seven. Gonna go short here. I don't think I'll get Traylon Burks. But we might get Logan Thomas. Free here, and there we go. Very nice. Dylan McMahon with an injury. My starting center. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing that. That was too quickly in the game. All right. We're going to have uh, Brewer take over. Kyle Phillips going the short route. Beautiful. Can we turn? No. Traylon Burks with an injury. That looks like a hit pointer or something like that. Let's hope it's nothing. That's going to take him out for too long. And again, I'm fully going to stick with the decision to have injuries set pretty high. I've got him at 53. Because I want to have that challenge. I want to have this happening. There are a bunch of teams that are missing key players in the NFL right now. Important players get injured. Dislocated hip. Ouch. Just take a look at the Miami Dolphins 22 season. They started out extremely well, then uh, Tua Tagovailoa got injured. And uh, that was it. That was their season. Now, wasn't that perfect? There we go. Kyle Phillips picking up a beautiful, beautiful gain here. A lot of yards against a very good secondary. Will Levis hitting his mark. And he's just getting better and better. I do hope that we crack the uh, low 80s this season with him. That could really be fantastic. Um, as we're going to try this uh, double slant here. I've got Phillips, Rogers, Wills. I need the midline backer to move. And there we go. Antoine Wells Jr. He is such a solid receiver. I'm really digging that. I might just give him give him a reshuffle there. Um, just pimp his looks a little bit. I'm not really a big fan of his helmet. He has one of those old school helmets. Here we go. Josh Wiley pushing forward. Getting up to the two yard line. We pick up a new set of downs. It's first and goal at the two yard line. Play action power. Oh, do we go with a quick slant? A QB draw. That is a little bit too risky. I'm not going to do that. But we could go with this here. Wiley or Clancy. And <laughs> we get stopped at the one yard line. All right, this is getting dumb. Let's go with a run here. Let's go with a run play. A halfback ISO. We're going to try and break through here. Taiji Spears. Let's go. And we get in. Had to run away from number 58, who's coming around the edge there. And we're in. Touchdown versus the Bills. We're first on the board. Now let's just see that. We defend that. Let's see if our defense is up for the challenge. Very nice. Ty J Spears doing well. Liking what he's doing. Come on, defense. Defense holds them. That is big. That is really big. Inside zone. Left-hand side run. Chris McAdams. My, my uh, third running back. Wow. And a quick stop here, number 58. He just never let up. Kept the pace. And McAdams has to take a seat here. Not a big fan of players getting injured. Second and 11. All right. We're going to go the dagger here. Antoine Wills will be my decoy runner, of course, unless he does get free. <laughs> I'm going to... Gonna decide that as the play de develops. And here we go. Noah Clancy goes down. Third and one. He has... I gave him one of the new helmets. The, these Axiom helmets. They really look... I don't know. I don't know. What do you think of these helmets? It's a... Uh, it's a different look. Yikes, man. Fourth and inches. Brandon Dorius breaking through. But he does pick up an injury here. So, let's substitute here. We're not going to punt. It's fourth and inches. We're going to go for an ISO with Derrick Henry. Let's go, my man. 
Wow, and there we go. First down and a few more yards. Seven yards on this rush for Derrick Henry. King Henry himself. Liking it. Really liking it. Left-hand side run. Ty J Spears. We're going to go between the center and the guard. Let's find a gap there. Is there a gap? Two yards. Seven rushes, 18 yards. I think you can see where this is going. The... Uh, run game today is extremely limited, even if we buffed it, actually. We buffed it. So there we go. Can we escape here? Nah. McKinley Jackson with an injury. That, that's number 11. Drive wide corner, third and four. Going to be looking for Phillips. I do have safety valves. Uh, safe runners. Wow. Oh, and it's broken up. Knocked out here. That's Williams, man. And he just shut that one down. 61 yarder. 61 yarder. All right, let's go for it. Evan McPherson. Ooh, that was a quick downward spiral. Do we have the distance? No, we don't. All right, crossbar. Ah, wow. We really managed to hold them again. At the 42, we pick it up. Here we go. Rogers has a good route, but Noah Clancy would be my preferred option. Let's get the ball away. Ah, oh, crud. Second and 20. Number 23, Micah Hyde. Breaking through. Wow, what a quick one that was. I tried to get the ball away. I tried to get the ball, but he just came straight at me. Straight at me. Ouch. All right, now we need to go for Clancy to get the distance here. I've got Phillips, but they are setting up. Yeah, that was inaccurate and deflected. Third and 20. Okay, guys. New plan. Let's get into field goal distance here. This could actually work out. This could work out if the uh, safety players... Go, 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 go. And we're not even going to jump for that, are we? All right. Coverage was there. Coverage was there. Did I have more time? I don't know. Didn't see other receivers open up. So let's just put this one out of bounds. Far back. Ryan Stonehouse going to be punting here. Is it going to be? Ah, oh, it's going to be in the end zone. Should have put more of an angle on it, actually. 7-0. and oh, We're still holding on to this game by a thread, though. I fully expect Josh Allen to... Hit back at us very quickly. And here's Andrew Dillard. And there we go. Alright, only a field goal, so we limit them at least. And I'm going to be going with Antoine Wills. Noah Clancy here. Probably an option. Actually, we could go for them. And there we go. That's a beautiful pickup. Opening up perfectly as Ed Oliver again injured. Number 91. Maybe they should leave him out for the time being. Has to take a seat here as the personnel takes a look at it. I would have liked a replay. Didn't get one though. Tell you what, we're going to do that ourselves. So there we go. There's the opening up. All right, 87. Take a look, sharp angle. And uh, right about now, as soon as he hit the angle, I kind of saw some distance between him and the defense. Also saw that the midline backers were moving slightly towards the left. Just opening up here perfectly. There we go. Fantastic. Good run. Good job. And next up, we're going to continue. We've got 2 minutes 39. Let's go with an inside zone run. I like this here. But we're going to be running straight into Greg Rousseau. That might prove to be an issue. There is no gap. Oh, there is a gap. Wow. Ty J Spears making something out of nothing. Number 58, Matt Milano. With a shoulder injury. A lot more shots on the sideline. I feel like they kind of improved that one, though, with the latest update. Added an animation. They're proud of that. Showing that off a lot. <laughs> And also, the sliders for the injuries, I feel like they are now a little bit more effective. Number 43 with a shove here on Kyle Phillips. But that's exactly what I expect from him. Play action scissors. A lot of options here, a lot of angles. Gonna be looking for Clancy though. 
if he does hit the angle, that would be great. I'm not sure who my safety valve will be. And get the ball away. Oh. Oof. I had to get that away very quickly. Number 30 was coming at me. That's more. Yikes. Absolutely opening up in the middle. We need to score now. We need to score a touchdown. We need to keep the uh, distance up. Because as it stands, we are... Hmm. All right, there we go. Third and four. Because if we only get a field goal, they can catch up to us. And they can draw the game. Amari Rogers is my go-to guy right now. And there we go. Hitting the mark and just turning the corner, getting inside. Now, that's fantastic. Will Levis delivering killer passes right now. And Amari Rogers does what I expect of him. Breaking into the end zone. This team is really coming along very, very well. Here we go. Catch, turn. Defense is following along, but they can't really catch up to him. Amari Rogers is extremely good on those sharp turns, though. Here we go. There we are. Did you see that? 14 and 9. Close. Very close. Uh, fourth quarter, 3 minutes and 16. All right. Let's just keep plugging away here until we hit the 2-minute mark. And then we're going to decide what we'll do here. Is it time to play for time? Waste time. Chris McAdams with an injury. Hmm. This is not helpful because it means that the clock will stop again. Here you go. Ankle injury, probably left-hand side, halfback zone weak. Just to get that clock running again. Do we have a better pass play? Let's go with the seam. Let's go with this one here. I like Kyle Phillips and Amari Rogers. Just always waiting until they kind of mm, pushed out of bounds. Would have liked to stay inside. This is exactly what I want to see from my wide receivers number three and four. Just be available. Open up. Ty J Spears. Come on, my man. No coverage, no blocking. And he's actually pushing the defensive players straight into Ty J Spears. Helping along Matt Milano here. High ankle sprain will not return. All right. Josh Wiley takes over now. Inside zone run left hand side. Ty J Spears. Do we have a better route play not really uh, let's just go straight up pushing forward clicking clicking push back third and one <laughs> and that's a handstand for taiji spears brewer does help him up here and we're going to be looking for thomas or phillips both have nice routes routes that usually open up at some point in time and here we go kyle phillips and actually we get a lot of yardage on this one as the two minute warning comes in best combination the good pickup we're at the 20 and here we go let's do some quick math if we manage to pull off another touchdown we're out of reach if we manage to pull off a field goal that's 3.70 versus 9 that is extremely close but if they get a two-point conversion somewhere along the line here we go derrick henry second and four they have to use a timeout, so ideally we'll get a touchdown, but we could probably make do with uh, with a field goal as well. We did get some get enough points up to now. Terrell Bernard, that's number 43. Ty J Spears going for a run. Let's adjust quickly, pushing forward. Third and one. Half back slam time. I want to make him use up that final timeout. That siren is crazy, man. Here we go. And it's just open. It's just open. Spiraling into the end zone here. Try J Spears evading all of the defensive efforts. And here we go. Doing really well. When I saw Derrick Henry drop down, I kind of feared that this was going to be a problem. But Ty J Spears has really shown... What he can do. <laughs> a little bit of mayhem situation right there, but uh, all right. I think we can relax now. They do hit back. 21 16. We've got 30 seconds to go. We are just gonna be uh, gonna go with a 94 will here. 
side run. Here we go. Tai Chi Spears. Anything but a fumble will be helpful. Second and ten. Just want to get the clock running here. That's all I want to do. Inside zone split. Left hand side run here. Gonna go around the outside. Is there a gap? Yes, there is a gap actually. And we get dragged down. By the way, we're gonna be calling a timeout now. Evan McPherson. Come on, my man. You gotta get another chance to kick a field goal. I know that first one was super far. But a 54 yarder, that's uh, that should be doable. What the frick is going on? What the frick is going on here? I don't know what that was, by the way. But uh, we should get the distance, and there we go. That was that was crazy, man. Was that a game day factor? Was that one of those momentum meter thingies? Because usually he's a safe bet. But there we go. Final second kick, and we managed to get the win here on the road. 24-16. Will Levis leading the team to another win as Coach Stratus claps hands with the Bills coach. A very clean game today by Will Levis. One touchdown, 73% completion with 178 yards. Uh, Josh Allen got pressured a lot, I reckon. Uh, one interception here. On the rushing side again, Tai Chi Spears, no faults here. Josh Allen had to do a lot of running. I think choosing the short pass um, defensive option really is helping us along. On the receiving side, Kyle Phillips here with a drop, but he was still my main go-to guy. He was just very, very good. Noah Clancy also with a drop. Now we've got Amari Rogers with that touchdown, zero drops. Really like his production. He is really, really good. Monty Rice, that's cool. Solo tackles, haven't seen him yet. And, it, and he's also in there with the total tackles. That's cool. Tackles for loss, quite a few. Three sacks, wow. Monty Rice gets one, James Houston gets one, and Micah Hyde gets one. I couldn't get out of that one. And Sean Murphy bunting with the interception. Well done. And Evan McPherson converts uh, one field goal attempt here. One was just way too far out, but he does get the extra points. Um, he converts those. Three out of three. Well done. I'm not going to say that things are going to plan, but uh, things are going to plan right now. The Titans 13 and 1 were still topping the AFC South. We defeat the Buffalo Bills, who are an incredibly tough team to play against. We do pick up a new injury. Who is that going to be? Uh, who is that? Oh, that's tri seven weeks. Oh my God. All right. So he's out for the season. And that is the season for Traylon Burks. We're going to do some counting here. Uh, real quick, but I can't see him returning on time. But uh, yeah, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Wide receiver number one out, dislocated hip, seven weeks. All right, let's do some quick math here. So we are now in week 15. All right, off we go. Down, 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 down. Seven weeks starting today. So six weeks, five weeks, four weeks. And now we're going to take a look at the playoff picture. Uh, the wild card. This is going to be three weeks, two weeks, one week. All right. He might be back in time for the Super Bowl. The big question is, do I want to count on that? Do I want to count on that? Or do I rule him out for the season and bring in another player? We have interesting prospects in the practice squad, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I can't really just have him sitting around injured and hoping for him to return. Um, I need to do something here. All right, let's just take a quick look at the roster. Let's take a quick look at the wide receiving room. So, Rogers 1, Phillips 2, then Wells and Booty. And then I've got Robert Woods. All right, I mean, we could make do with this setup here. Uh, looking at the at the practice squad we could also bring in one of the two wide receivers this could be the chance for colton dowell to shine we could also use malik benson we could also give clyde davis a shot here malik benson 2471 but colton dowell probably is the dude who has to get a game now has to show what he can do otherwise he will be out uh, of the team next season. I, I can't really see us uh, holding on to a player. 
So there we go, Colton Darrell. We sign him from the practice squad. And now we have to put Traylon Burks on injured reserve. It really, really hurts. Uh, but we have to do it. Okay, guys. I reckon, I reckon. <laughs> Next week is going to be interesting. Playing the Seahawks at home. Um, let's see who their uh, quarterback will be. Because uh, I doubt it will still be who it is at the moment. So, with this cliffhanger, gonna let it up. <laughs> gonna let you go now. Uh, end the episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, the game. Hope you enjoyed what I'm doing here. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And as always, guys, thank you so much for being here. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.